So are we chin today? Nah, you're not with chin. Talk to me, dude. Blue hair. How's your ankle, mate? Am I in the vlog now? You are, yeah. I'm in every vlog, yeah. I would have been the vlogger for Whitney Aware. What, uh, what do you think today, Jack? What do I think? Yeah, you're not playing, are you? I'm not, which means it's going to be harder. I think 3 0. 3 0, clean sheet, happy days, on to next week. You can do some commentary. Get me in the commentary box. You can go on it if you want. I will be in it for winning. <laughs> Yeah. Good afternoon and welcome to the Horse 4 Community Stadium for Northern Premier League action here on National Non-League Day. Bradford Park Avenue hosting Works Up Town. Let's hope that Park Avenue can pull through with three points after an impressive draw away at Whitby Town. Gutting that that last minute goal didn't stand from Adrian Thibault. But Park Avenue looking to capitalise on some good form this afternoon. Ball now at the back with Jake Young. Feeds it into Will Lancaster, who just loses his foot in there, and a chance for Workshop to capitalise now as Terry Hawkins drives into the box. Shot on goal just wide. Ball's held up at halfway and won comfortably for Workshop. Now going down the right hand side is Jay Rollins. Got Mason O'Malley and Harrison Hopper on his tail, but Rollins gets the ball towards the back post. There's a push in the back of a Dunstan. No foul given, and that header was ever so close. O'Malley. His clearance doesn't go as far as hopes. Samuel Wedgbury touches the ball down with his studs, and now Rollins driving inside from the right. Lancaster's there just to cut that out. And Mason O'Malley, I think, will just keep that in play by his own corner flag. And again, look forward. The wind definitely holding the ball up. That ball will just go out of play for Tiro. Ball bounces around, picked up by Mayoko. Preston now just turning, swivelling on the edge of the box. Can he keep the ball? No, he can't. And that will eventually come away. But great challenge by Lancaster to win the ball back. Preston, Mayoko goes down. Looked like it was... Almost a foul, but Dunson plays it down the line for Thibault. Chance to get a ball across into the box, cut out well, and that's a throw-in of the post earlier. Dunson throws it in, finds Mayako. Dunson, what can he do? Turns back down the line, but fortunately loses the ball. Now ball shifted from Wilde over to the far side. Rollins with a heavy touch from the chest, but really does well to keep the ball under his own spell. Gets past Mason O'Malley, and O'Malley just tries to get in front of him there, and Referees played advantage as Rollins stayed on his feet and Hawkridge now in the middle of the midfield. Bit of room in front of him. Lancaster shepherded him. Ball shipped out onto that left-hand side. Ball into the area now. And that'll run all the way out for a goal kick. Captain Ben Sheriff. Here's Wedgbury chipping the ball into the area. Looking for the big striker, Liam Hughes. Ball bouncing around. Rollins can't quite get a hold of it and knocks the ball out for a goal kick. Throw. Atherton throws it in, throws it in to Starchenko. Back to Atherton, now up to the striker, Hughes, who ships it out looking for Rollins. Mason O'Malley just has to do his, uh, his work. It is thrown in towards the edge of the six yard, but flick on one originally by Broadhead, and header eventually cleared by Lucas Dunstan. Hello, midfielder Hopper, and Hopper's caught on the ball there. Here's Rollins, chance potentially for a shot. Hits one, hit the post. What an effort from Jay Rollins. A bit of a knuckleball technique, sorry, it swerved low. Off the ground, and that came off the outside of the left post. Got two men on him, Atherton and Ben Sharif. Atherton pumps the ball forward. Here's Rollins now on the right-hand side. Chance to potentially put a ball in the box, but O'Malley does well. Just to stop with the ball does eventually come in. De Senna tries to get up. Header was won by Starchenko and headed over the bar quite comfortably. So, ball does come in. It's a rather flat throw-in. Header won by Ben Sharif to the edge. Here's Hawkridge. Well won by Preston on the edge of the area. Heavy challenge by Atherton, but wins the ball back. Hawkridge chips the ball over towards the back stick. Dunstan needs to do something about that and does. Out swinging delivery, right foot. Looped over towards the back stick, looking for Hughes. He is there. Great save by Kieran Flavel. Side of it. Throwing comes in from Atherton. Forward looking. Flicked on by Daniels, incidentally. Almost working well for Worksop. Headed away now. Picked up onto this right hand side. Daniels one on one. Trying to keep the ball away from Atherton, but Atherton does, does really well to keep the ball in play. Here's Hawkridge, chance to put a ball into the area, turns back onto his right foot, drives the ball over, looking for Hughes at the back stick, gets up, Adunson does really well to get up there. The last five, corner comes in now, floated. Goal for Worksop Town, tapped into the net. In the edge of the six-yard box. Josh Wilde, the goal scorer there, free almost in the edge of the six-yard. Corner came in from that far side, Hawkridge in swing and delivery and nobody got up to deal with it for Park Avenue in the 20th minute. Underway again now. Lancaster looking to th get things started. Plays the ball forward and hits the arm of Hughes. Referee sees that one and pulls it back for a free kick on the halfway line. 
the centre, plays a free kick forward, looking down the right-hand side for Mayeko. Thibaut receives the ball at his feet in the box and goes down. Referee says no, and that looked like a potential incident there. Arms all around Adrian Thibaut, Jack Broadhead, the man in Park Avenue, absolutely crowding referee Jamie Rhodes. I'd like to have a look at that one back because from my perspective up here in the commentary box, Jack Broadhead was uh, giving Thibaut a bit of a cuddle there. Hey. Snuck himself some extra yards and Hughes was up there and all over the shirt was Jake Young, referee didn't spot that and then great ball forward by Young just looking to get this attack started. Preston does ever so well to hold off Sam Wedgbury but loses the ball unfortunately and now potentially Wurtsock going on the attack. Jake Daniels brings down Starchen Coakridge, puts his hand up in his Predators. Ball bouncing around the area, comes off Riley the centre but the flag is up. Four offside, drive forward on that far side. Shalchenko, the centre, just shepherding him out of place, steps in with a challenge. And Shalchenko has to play an inside ball to Warren Redford, who's driving now, he's in the area. Not in a shooting position, ball goes out. Was he offside there? Flag goes up, he was. Redford just received the 1 2 ball with Josh Wilde, and the linesman's flag went up. His left foot, nobody there for Park Avenue. Broadhead picks the ball up, shifts it out to Redford on that far side, who perhaps fortunately. For him, took a touch that bounced over the head of a Dunstan. The ball came over into the area, looking for Hughes or Rollins that were both attacking that back stick zone. Jake Young got his head there first, nodding it out for a corner. All the big centre half, ball over towards the back stick, looking for Hughes, pushing the back. Bentriff, ball bouncing around the area, just rolled across the face of goal. Lancaster eventually scoops it away. Hawkridge plays a 1 2 with Wedgbury. Wedgbury looks like he'll loft the ball back in towards the area to Rollins who won the header and that ball just skimmed off the surface into the grasp of Kieran Flavel, the centre backs sorry, does throw the ball into the area looking for Hughes and it comes to Hawkridge on the area, shifts it back out to Atherton who puts the ball over towards that back stick and Flavel just claims no pressure in terms of attacking options of work stop there. Going out. Sorry, left hand side goes into Hawkridge who's been involved in almost everything for workshop this afternoon. Thibault wins the ball back hard, but no. Eddie Mayeko had fouled Josh Wilde there, according to the referee. Just a little clip on the heels. Two yards out of the Park Avenue box. Ball comes in over to this right-hand side. Mayeko tries to get up, but Hughes gets there first. It's bounced on the area to Redford, who eventually plays the ball back, and Afton just has to charge across this right-hand side to get it. Broadhead wins the header after the ball was lofted into the box by Atherton, but he was in an offside position. Couldn't quite find the right angle of it, and Daniels plays the ball over the top, and here's a chance for Thibault, but it comes off the back. That's so unlucky for the young man. Is he fouled there? He was definitely tripped, and the referee has given a free kick. And Starchenko, here's Daniels, loops the ball over towards the back stick. Wins, there's a header one. Oh, and that was close. Was it, it was either Lancaster or Preston. Ball now goes forward down the right-hand side for Workshop. Here's Rollins. Got Jake Young on his heels. Shifts the ball back to Atherton, and... He puts the ball inside to Hawkridge, who's lining up an effort potentially on goal. Comes to do Redford, who rifles the ball over the bar of Flavel. Second and does. Good control by the big man. Ships it down the line to Atherton, who crosses the ball into the area. Head of one by Young. But again, it's picked up the seconds by Atherton. Ball in by Wedgbury. Cleared by the centre, but only to Hughes on the edge, who tries to place the ball. Almost a side-footed effort from the edge of the box. That'll go out for a corner. Dunstan under lots of pressure. Dunstan has to go long first time. Looking for Jordan Preston. Preston does well to hold the ball up away from Broadhead. And does get away from Prince himself. A little bit of room. And releases Mioko potentially to get down the wing. Mioko forces goal scorer Wild to ship the ball out of play. Throws it into the area. Here's Preston receives it with his chest. Can he play it off to a teammate? Wrestled in the area. Referee gives a free kick there for something similarly that he didn't the other way around earlier in the half. Free kick to work on town. Throws it in. Broadhead wins the first header and corner ball. Similarly crowding the goalkeeper now. In swing and ball into the area. Flavel comes, attempts a punch. Ball bouncing around and it's gone into the back of the net. And it's wild second, a similar goal for the left back of Worksop Town. Just fell to him after Flavel couldn't come and claim that ball. Up to the feet of the left-back Josh Wilde. Preston gets things underway again now, and Lancaster goes forward, looking for the run of Thibault. 
It was brought down in the area. Referee, what about that one? Nothing given. Appeals from Park Avenue. Mayoko retains possession for Park Avenue. Danny Whisker's not happy with that one. Foul eventually now given to Worksop Town, and that's now two penalty decisions as Lucas Dunstan has just got in a bit of argy bargy on that far side, and he could be in trouble here as he goes head to head with someone on that far side who goes down, crawling to the floor, and this is not what you want to see for Park Avenue. Referee still yet to reveal the colour of the card, and it's yellow. Lucas Dunstan remains on the field. Hawkers to thump the ball forward for a free kick. Looking for Hughes, who wins the header, and seconds then won by De Senna, and Mayeko nods the ball forward, but it's won by Wedgbury. Hawkridge now over to the right hand side and Adrian Thibault then smashes into Wilde and chance now late in the half. Hawkridge to swing a ball into the air. It looks like he's shooting there and it goes over the crossbar of Flavel. And there's the half time whistle blown by Jamie Rhodes. Some big decisions for him to be made making that half. And I'm not quite sure he got all of them right, but Workshop Town lead by two goals to nil here at the Horsefall Stadium. here at the Horsefall Community Stadium as Park Avenue currently trail by two goals to Worksop Town Park Avenue just re-emerging from the changing rooms out onto the pitch no changes to report or by the looks of it as the rain's just starting to fall again and here we go for the second half of Northern Premier League action Bradford Park Avenue trailing by two goals against Worksop Town and hoping to claw their way back into this fixture can turn and play a ball out wide now so Jake Daniels Daniels cuts inside, put the ball into the air, and it's cleared by Ben Sharif, the captain of Worksop Town, the big figure. Redford holds off to centre, but the centre's second challenge will regain the ball for Park Avenue on halfway. A Dunstan driving forward, down from a challenge from, I believe it was Alex Sarchenko there. Free kick Park Avenue, about five or ten yards inside the half. And you can see the wind's picking up once more. Chance potentially for Park Avenue to loft the ball forwards. Riley to centre stood over the ball. The ball's moving with the wind. Who go into the box? Goes down the line to the centre to Thibault. Ball bouncing around and Dunstan keeps the ball. Well done to the captain. Tries to poke it round the man that he just won a free kick from Starchenko, but unfortunately that one runs out of play. Dunstan playing in a central area now, just picking up the ball and distributing, goes back to Mayeko and there's options, can he pick one? He goes into the box to Thibaut, Thibaut shifts the ball across the edge of the six-yard box and nobody was there. Nobody was there to tap that home, great work by the 19-year-old centre-forward, but here he is again, plays a great inside ball, looking for Preston and just looked, looking for a, for a foul there and he did get it, was I think Redfern. Just Redford, sorry, went down under very minimal contact for Preston. Didn't allow Preston to then gain the ball. But here's Hopper picking up the second and shifts it out to this right-hand side. And this is the danger man so far for Park Avenue when it has been going forward. Thibaut slips the ball towards the back stick. Mason O'Malley, Jay Daniels, sorry, it's over the bar. So then Aston plays the ball down the right-hand side. Young Jay Young, trying to shepherd that out. The man went down there, I believe it was. One Redford, but it's Starchenko. Lancaster had a bit of contact, but managed to get the ball away. And great ball in behind by Jordan Preston. Mialkowski's coming a long way. Mioko dinks it over him. Goal, Bradford Park Avenue. Great finish by Eddie Mioko. A left foot outside the boot. Dink over the goalkeeper who came a long way out of his goal, but it's an impressive finish from a difficult angle from Eddie Mioko. The score's 2 1 here. Works off town, still leading, but great work by the wide man of Bradford Park Avenue and it's game on here at the horse fall. Hopper now in the midfield, shifts it out left, looking for Daniels. Can Daniels pick that up and go get out the back line? He keeps it in, does he? Does ever so well. Referee's got his flag up. Oh. He tries to play route one and it'll work and it's a poor touch from Harrison Hopper who was had a bit of time and space to get that and 
Eventually, he chips, sorry, brings down Terry Hawkridge. Referee blows his whistle. Hawkridge loops the ball over towards the back stick where Hughes there receives it on his chest, just outside the area on this left hand side. Manages to dance inside. Here is the effort on goal. Great block by Lucas Unson. That was looked like it was going to be dipping towards that far corner shot from Starchenko there. Round there, but great work by Broadhead to recover. Down the line now, Rollins, chance to put a ball in the area potentially. Stood well by Jay Young, great work by the young centre half on loan today, making his debut. Stands Jay Rollins, forces him back outside the box. Here's Hawkridge, edge of the area, slips it back out wide to Rollins. Rollins, can he put a ball across the area? It's put out of play by Lucas Dunstan for another corner. Hawkridge, ball in, out swinging delivery. Looking for Hughes, who wins the header, ball bouncing around, and that's a great save by Kieran Flavel. Now corner comes in, edge of the six yard box, headed away by Dunstan once more, lurking as well at the back on young Jake Young. Ball in by Atherton, Dunstan heads away, bouncing around in the edge of the area, chance of a break here for Park Avenue if they can pick the right ball, Hopper cuts back inside, Preston picks up the ball, can he get that ball away? Not quite, Broadhead wins the ball but Dunstan will pick up the pieces for Park Avenue and feed it back to his goalkeeper Flavel inside was the ball from Flavel, now ball over the top, Rollins, chance to put a ball across the edge of the area, he does, and here is a shot on goal, great save by Flavel after an effort from Alex Starchenko. Paul Chris put an in-swinging delivery in now, he does, and out comes Kieran Flavel to claim, and a chance for a break here, balls it out to Mayoko, who's got Thibaut on the inside if he can, Hopper's there as well on the back line, Eddie Mayoko needs to pick his right ball, he goes out to the left-hand side, and he's just put too much on it, the wind's caught a hold of that one, and it runs away from Jake Daniel. Wild with the throw. Chucks it in to Hawkins, back to Wild, then back to Hawkins, who dips the ball in towards the area. Flavel's come a long way out to claim, gets his hand there, and it's good work by the Barnsley goalkeeper. Now, Thibaut, oh, I'm not sure he was offside there. Flag was up. To Hawkins, and he eventually does put the ball high into the area, and it's won. By a works up town head, soft, gone down, effort on goal by Rollins and it's deflected away for a corner. Bridge and he, here's another one, chips it over towards the back stick and Mayako gets there. Ball clear, here's Thibaut, what can he do? Uh, can't get it past Starchenko, who regains the ball out on this left hand side, plays the ball in behind looking for Rollins but that one won't run out of play, kept in, the centre's on his back and feeds it back to Hawkridge now on the right hand side but Thibaut's doing his defensive work and that's a massive dive from Hawkridge. Forward. Forced to cut back after Ted Lavelle's pressing. Wild loops the ball forward. Look for Redford, who's just in behind here. Chance for to get the ball into the box, but he completely mistimes his connection with the ball and chips the ball just ahead of him out for a goal kick for Flavel. Ted Lavelle, Ted Lavelle with options ahead of him, puts it over to the left hand side where Daniels has got a bit of room to wiggle. What can he do? Can he get it past Atherton? He can, driving down the left hand side, but. He's done well to get that second touch, but the ball just ran away from him and ran out of play with it towards Daniels, who smashes his foot through the ball, and Thibaut potentially has one to run out here. Thibaut trying his best, but won well by Ben Sharif. Preston just putting him under pressure, making Ben Sharif go along, and he does, and Ted Lavelle wins the ball back for his side, and Hopper's brought down there, referee gives the foul on halfway. Loop a left-footed ball in towards that zone. Does try and find a Dunstan. Great work by a Dunstan. Drops to Riley De Senna on the edge. Hopper trying to battle and keep the ball. De Senna lunges in but couldn't quite get there. Referee gave advantage, but here's Starchenko. Great work by Jake Daniels to win back the ball. And De Senna just pokes it and can't, can't, can't quite get the ball. But a Dunstan picks up the ball in the back line for Park Avenue and it plays back now to Kieran Flavel. Head now on the right hand side. Dinks the ball forward, looking for Hawkridge. Crosses the ball into the area. Flavel goes and dives and claims. And for either a Dunson or Mayeko. Great challenge by Ted Lavelle. And that's a Bradford Park Avenue ball. And he's given it the other way. And that definitely looked like it came off the foot of Vaughan Redford. Fantastic challenge in the middle of the park by Ted Lavelle. But the referee gives it to Works Up Town. Almost every decision this afternoon seems to have gone the way of the Tigers. Hawkridge plays the ball down the line to Hall. And here's Atherton inside the area, ball put into the box now, dancing, what can they do? Riley De Senna eventually comes away with it for Park Avenue, chips it back to Jake Daniels, and Daniels' ball forwards a poor one. 
ball now on this left hand side under Redford's control of works up great work by Lucas Adunson to shrug him off and win the ball back needs to be make sure that he doesn't do too much Jordan Burrow eventually wins the ball back for works up just inside the area and he's trying to win something for his side Wedgbury now dancing on the left a Dunstan does it ever so well to win a corner did it go off a Dunstan it did as he does, sweeps it over towards the back. Mieko wins that first header. Hopper and Preston now going on Starchenko if possible. There's five minutes are added on here at the horse fall. Mieko gets the ball clear. Ball now onto this left hand side to Redford, who's got Riley de Senna dealing with him and manages to chip the ball through in towards Burrow. Back to Redford, dinks the ball over towards the back stick where Hall's there. Great work by Mason O'Malley to block that headed effort. And clears the ball with his left foot. Knocks the ball back over deep into the half off Park Avenue and has been caught out, has flavour. Jake Young needs to get back into a position, but I think that ball will roll out. He opts to keep it in play and goes to a Dunstan. And then plays the ball down the line of Mieko. If he can get there, and that's ever so unlucky as it comes off the back again. Just haven't quite been able to get luck on their side this afternoon at Park Avenue, but Ted Lavelle wins the ball back. Lucas of Dunstan inside his own half. Looks for Adrian Thibault. Josh Wilde now picks up the ball for works off and scoops it down the line. Mieko wins the header and Tibault wins the seconds and it goes out for a Park Avenue throw in just in front of Danny Whitaker's dugout. Throws it in to Preston and referee gives foul throw against Lucas at Dunstan. Two minutes left to go here out of the five. Down on the goal, just Jake Young at the back now recovered, has Ted Lavelle but shot now for Hall, on goal deflected. And out for a corner ball, and you feel like that could be the last action of the afternoon. Short corner taken, and that is the full-time whistle here at the Horse 4 Community Stadium. Bradford Park Avenue fall to defeat of two goals to one against Worksop Town. We're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue, and then we'll take it higher. Oh, we're gonna rock down to Electric Avenue, and then we'll take it higher.